I want to talk to you today about a huge problem that I don't think we talk about in our culture, and that is our miserable, epic failure to prepare young people for love, for romantic love. Uh, Freud says there are two important things in life. One is work and the other is love. We have huge industries, spend billions of dollars, many institutions to prepare students, young people for work. We do nothing to prepare them for love. Probably the most important thing they will do in their lives. Our failure has huge financial costs and it has huge emotional costs. Financial course in divorce, in domestic abuse, in mediation, and many other kinds of problems. We have sex ed in this country, but it is either abstinence or disaster prevention, how not to get pregnant and how not to get STDs. I think parents often feel disabled in this conversation as well, often because they feel like they failed in their own love relationships. The great majority of parents in this country don't feel like they've had meaningful, lasting, successful love relationships. So we have created this vacuum. We fuss a lot about the sex talk. We do not fuss about a far more important talk which is how do we talk to our children about the courage and subtlety and discipline and tenderness and tough-mindedness it really takes to love someone else. There are, I think, a, three or four challenges to this. I just want to mention a couple. One is confusion about what love is in our culture. If I were to ask you to pause in your flow of feeling in, for someone else and say, where in that flow of feeling do I stop and say, that is love, I think we would all pause in very different places. We mean very different things by this word. We are using one word to describe a whole array of very different feelings. And I think there's a danger in that. And one of the dangers is that we conflate attraction with love, we can conflate infatuation with love, and those are dangerous misconceptions for young people. I also think that we are talking about love differently at points in time, that the kind of love I have for my wife now is very different than the kind of love I had for her on our wedding day. And there's a problem. My love for my wife now is about history primarily. My love at, when, on our wedding day was about imagination. And there's a problem with history talking to imagination. Things are lost in translation. We're having trouble talking to younger adults and young people about the many layers and depths of deep, mature love in ways that are vibrant and compelling to them. The last thing I just want to say is that I think mature love is very dramatic and very compelling. I watch Friday Night Lights, very mature, compelling love relationship in Friday Night Lights. I think that young people in our research are indicating they're desperate, they're passionate to talk about love. And in our TV and in our films, it would be wonderful to provide them adults with opportunities and children with opportunities to talk about this subtle, tender work of developing a love relationship with someone else. Thank you.